Welcome to this channel. This channel is for education and culture based on historical and scientific evidence. So yesterday I have a long chat with a uh, Wing Chun friends. And uh, within the chat, there are two of his ideas, which is I like to share with the world. Uh, on my view, what I look at those two ideas. One of his ideas is no style is better than other style. It is always down to the individual skill of that particular style. So this is the first idea. The second is to not train your Wing Chun purely to fight. You might train for just a matter of month and uh, it could save your life, but don't train your Wing Chun to fight or to purely to fight. I like to share with you on this do not train your Wing Chun purely to fight. And uh, you train and uh, it will save your life. It could save your life in a matter of months. Wing Chun is a martial arts. Wing Chun is a martial arts. Wing Chun is not a religion. Wing Chun is not an exercise. If Wing Chun cannot fight, <clears throat> it must not be called as martial art. That is the exactly point of uh, Xi Xiaotong today and many young people in China. Okay. So if one train a martial art, then one expect to learn how to fight. And also, there is no such thing as your Wing Chun, my Wing Chun. It is like, you don't say uh, your Thai boxing, my Thai boxing, your Western boxing, my Western boxing. There's, not, there's no yours or mine or your kyokshin or my kyokshin. No. If you train Wing Chun, you train Wing Chun. It is your Kung Fu in Wing Chun. Like how good is your Kung Fu? What is your level of Kung Fu? But there are no such thing as your Wing Chun, my Wing Chun. Such as there's no such thing as your kyokshin, my kyokshin. It's only what level do you achieve, accomplish in your kyokshin or in your Western boxing? This has to be really clear, okay? So the first thing is, if Wing Chun is a martial art, then what do you do when you study Wing Chun? Of course, study to fight. The bottom line, bottom line is fight. Okay, and there's no such thing as your Wing Chun, my Wing Chun. It's just like you train Western boxing, then it is a Western boxing. As what is your level of the Western boxing? That is individual. But that got nothing to do with Western boxing. It's not like I go train my Western boxing or Hendrix Western boxing. Okay, that has to be really clear. Today, everybody somehow have this idea of my Wing Chun, your Wing Chun, what Wing Chun? Instead of saying, no, what is your level? Like uh, you train karate or judo, what is your level? Shodan, the fourth degree black belt, what is your level? So 
that has to be straight. Also, Wing Chun is a martial art. The reason you practice Western boxing is for fight. Now, how can one's how can any martial art save one's life if one never train how to fight or never intend to train for fighting? You can. See, train for fighting is not necessary that you going to go fight or you want to go fight. Like you train Western boxing, you can train really hard. You spar every day so you know how to fight. But it's not necessary you want to go out to, to, to fight anybody. Now, on the other hand, if you don't know how to fight, how can it save your life? In what way it saves your life? So this is considered as fake traditional Chinese martial art by the young generation like Xi Xiaodong, if one presenting this way. It is true. In Shaolin, the Bodhidharma teaching is do not cheat yourself, do not cheat others, do not get cheated. And Compassionate, helping other, equanimity, uh, you know, like you treat everybody the same and you help everybody. However, when you learn the Shaolin Kung Fu, that is learning fighting. So the fighting is a tool. If you don't know how to fight, you never fight, you, you don't know what it is. But if you know how to fight, it's not necessary you want to go fight. And perhaps your entire life, you don't need to fight. Because you choose not to fight. But doesn't mean that you don't know. So this has to be really clear. So if you say this is Shaolin art, yes, the bottom line is don't cheat yourself, don't cheat others, don't get cheated, be compassionate with others, be uh, uh, helping others, be kind to others. That, that is the, 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 the attitude. However, one must learn, train seriously in fighting if you want to study the Shaolin martial art. It's just like uh, in military. A proper training is not to uh, make war as you like. And in fact, you see all this general in history, they try to prevent war. But they know, all of them know how to fight all this good general. So that has to be clear, okay? So if you don't train how to fight, you never spar, you never spar more than 500 hours where you can get KO, you never train. And because you never train that way, you will never be able to use anything to save your life. Because say if you have a 500 hours of sparring, free sparring where you can get KO. Okay? Say you have that. Say you walk into a restaurant, people start fighting. What will you do? You look at that, you say, oh my God, this is a really serious fighting. You walk away or you just call 911. That saves you from fighting. Save, it can save your life. So, 
because you train in fighting, you know how serious is those stuff and what is the, 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 the consequence and you know how to get away. Now, if you never train in fighting, you see people fighting. You not even have any idea how bad it is. You're going to sit down there or you're going to get involved, you're causing yourself problem. Okay. So I never like to ask people to go to fight. But I tell everybody here, it is an education. You need to know what you're dealing with. And thus, because you know what is, you are dealing with, you walk away and you get help and you don't want to get involved and you do not want to contribute to the bad things. You see people fight, you call the police. Because disregard of what fighting in a public area is no good. And you restrain yourself. You restrain yourself. Not get into the fighting not getting into emotion and walk away because fighting is not worth it. That is after you train very well on fighting. If you don't know about that, it is a disaster. So if you train Wing Chun, you, can, you do not train in, in fight. What are you training? And then when it comes to my Wing Chun, your Wing Chun, that is saying that you don't even know what is Wing Chun. You go ask those people in Western boxing, will they tell you? My Western boxing. Your Western boxing. My Judo. Your Judo. So we need to think clearly what we, we're presenting. Now, as for, uh, it is not the style, it is the people, it is the individual. No style is better than any other style. Is that true? Absolutely not. In a fighting, there are two elements there. One is the style you train. How good, how comprehensive is the style or your training? And second, of course, the individual. There are two things. So as what I share with you the other day on a very simple model, How is a style of Wing Chun like this? The sphere like this, which is the uh, uh, strength, can compete with people trained in this box type of uh, training, like MMA. You put your sphere inside the, uh, the, 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 the box of the MMA, you just a uh, partial of the entire box. So how could one train here? This regard of how, uh, how high or advanced a level he trained, fight with people who is well trained with this comprehensive box where the sphere is only within this. You can. So again, like this, like this between Ting Hao and Xi Xiaotong, well, Xi Xiaotong choose not to fight you here, but choose to fight you here. So 
Is it because of Xi Xiaotong's, the individuals, or the system Xi Xiaotong trained and him individual? And think how him, the individual, and the system he trained. Of course, you look into this, it is the system is affecting it big time because system is the education. So this is uh, a few years ago. Now I want to share with you. Nineteen seventy-five. So today is two thousand twenty-two. Almost fifty years ago, right? Almost fifty years ago. This is the Wing Chun versus Kyokushin in Japan. The Kyokushin Open. Okay, this is a uh, young Chinese. They presented their comment on that and saying that this Wing Chun guy is uh, continues to attack uh, the opponent's chest and stomach area. Okay. And this Wing Chun guy is only attack and not guarding himself. Okay, there I just read whatever this 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 uh, commentary from the young Chinese in the YouTube. And the opponent kick him twice, kick this Wing Chuner twice. And KO him with a body shot to the rib area. Now, I show you this is to share with you. Be careful what you train. What is your so-called style? Okay. In this case, Xi Xiaotong know how to get to this type of style. Okay, how to how to just uh, avoid the strong point and get to the weak point and then uh, take you out. Same thing. In this. Competitions, the opponent know. Okay, know your strength and attack your weakness. As for this KO uh, with the uh, body shot to the rib area. Now, the opponent know. A well-trained uh, fighter with a, a very comprehensive uh, uh, style or system can read the opponent. Okay, remember the other day I said that it is knowing, which is the sick thing is proficient and Tong, which is having the insight, the mastery. There are tons of people like that. And uh, this Kyokushin uh, player is him. Joko ni no Miya. Okay, so he's the founder of Ensign Karate. He's a Kyokushin before he found that the ancient karate, okay? So it's, as they say here, Kyokushin karate fighter 
number 37. So people know. So style is very important. And you need to know your style. Now, so, so as we can see here, Sui Xiao Tong know the style, know the strength and the weakness where he can get you. Like in this case, sorry. In this case, Joko know how to get you. Okay. So 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 that is what it is. That's the, 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 the name of the game. You need to know what it is. You need to know what you're good at and what is your weakness. And you you always find ways to to, to defeat your, your your opponent, not to go brute force, not one size fit all. So 48 years ago, right, 1975 until today, or Xi Xiao Tong a few years ago, all the same. People can read you. Okay. And so when people asking me about the model, like for example, how come is this model? You look at since 1975 until fighting Xi Xiao Tong here, isn't it this model? And some say, well, that might be a sphere here. Well, no, sorry. You didn't see any Wing Chun kick. Well, this type of, uh, of attack is a, is a strength. Yes, this is a strength. No, when the Xi Xiao Dong, that's, that's why Xi Xiao Dong uh, uh, avoided it. When this fight with Joko, Same thing, okay? The sun punch going in, continuous strike. And uh, also here, I say that there's no guarding. You just go with the sun punch, go there. So that is the characteristics. So this is proven to us. For past 48 years, it boils down to this model. So it doesn't matter if you say your Wing Chun, my Wing Chun, like today's many people love to do that. What well, disregard of what Wing Chun you are in this model? You, this one model can show what you are doing. Now, as in the beginning, I share that that uh, fighting is a, a tools and educations. Not go out there and bullying people and uh, being violent, right? If you look at Xi Xiaodong after he win, so he's he had pretty good sportsmanship sportmanship, right? When the, the, the referee says stop, you stop. Because it's nothing personal, nothing about hatred, or I'm number one, those kind of stuff. If you look at here, with Joko, he got KO, and Joko helped him out. That's how it's supposed to be. You want to have a fight, you set the rule, and after the fight, it is all uh, humanity there, okay? It's not about, hey, you know, I hate you, or, or, or all this kind of stuff, and you hold grudges. It's, it's not that. That's why, like, uh, Joko, I respect him a lot. That is what Budo is about. So that's why I always say that like the, the fourth uh, of the teaching of the Kyokshin, you have to be courtesy with people, respect, you don't, you don't go violence and, 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 and being rude, those kind of stuff. So 
the system. You need to know the system. You need to know the style. And uh, as I have shared the other day, from Chi Chi Kong 460 years to Bubishi, Okinawan karate records, the 1850s records, it's all in the box. And now today's MMA is in the box, but you, you right now you end up with this. How does it work? Does it work? Sure. It works, but it's very narrow. It's limited. When you're facing those who have a box, there's a problem there. So yes, it is about style. It is not about not the style. Individual matter. However, the style matter. A good style is a comprehensive style and also a good style teaching the people like Joe Go here. He KO him, but he helped him. So that, that is the thing. And as for the style, we need to really careful. Okay. Say Xiu Lim Tao. The practice of Xiu Lim Tao itself is really problematic. The practice of Xiu Lim Tao itself is a problematic. Even today, many people say this is the having the qi power, internal way, and uh, the mind power way every way. It is actually, if I may use the term disaster. Why is disaster? Because according to the ancient, like in the writing of uh, 19, uh, 1850, every move, exhale, inhale, inhale, exhale. Every move come with the breathing, okay? Now, that is real Qigong. Now that has to uh, 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 map into sports science today, like uh, I, I share here in the H model. I share with you yeah, in, the, in, the, in the H model here with the heart rate and, and, and with the heart rate and, and, and everything. Why is that so important? Because if we don't know that, how to do it properly, it is damaging. So today, is, there's a, a lot of so-called Chinese Qigong is really damaging. Then you ask me, well, why do you say so, Hendrik? Why am I say so? It's because, as I put in this book, you need to know, are you running in aerobic or anaerobic? If you run in aerobic, do you know that there is uh, oxygen and carbon dioxide balancing in your breathing? Say you inhale, you take oxygen. You exhale, you release carbon dioxide. That has to balance. If you inhale, you hold your breath. That will be have a, a, a reaction of carbon, a balancing of uh, oxygen and carbon dioxide. When you exhale, after you exhale, if you hold your breath, that is also going to influence your carbon dioxide and it influence your entire body. Your body, your body is a very smart system. 
due to it be able to sense like the oxygen, carbon dioxide balancing in your blood, it do different things. So if you're keeping exhale, 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 and you do not inhale enough, you can cause many things with your body. Okay. And also you keeping inhale, deep breathing, do deep inhale, that might not going to help you. So all this inhale, holding after your inhale, exhale, holding after your exhale, one need to know exactly what they are and how to handle that. In the Wing Chun Inception, I show the, the recovery here. It's according to the ancient Chinese teaching. And it is, in today's words, you can say that it is helping to have uh, oxygen, carbon dioxide balancing. Now, do we know what is the carbon dioxide and, and, uh, and oxygen balance breathing type? Do we know? If we don't know that, we go to uh, practice, say, Xiu Lim Tao, and again, just get into my Xiu Lim Tao, your Xiu Lim Tao, this lineage Xiu Lim Tao, that lineage Xiu Lim Tao. Seriously, I don't give a damn of what lineage Xiu Lim Tao, or your Xiu Lim Tao, my Xiu Lim Tao. What I really concern is how is the oxygen and carbon dioxide balancing? If that is not balanced properly, you know it will cause long-term problem to the health. Not to mention that you never get to, to, to really uh, develop your fighting skill. It will cause long-term problem in the health. It is science. So that's the reason why I am uh, Mapping all this thing to the today's sports science, like in uh, the, the, the Wing Chun Matrix book, I map it into momentum. And in the uh, Restricting Wing Chun book, you can see the recycling momentum and, 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 and the, 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 uh, the zone, the domain of fighting. That's because. We need to know this model. Fighting zone is momentum zone. You need to know which momentum zone you are good at. You need to know what, which momentum zone your opponent is good at. That's one thing. Another thing is the, uh, the, 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 the breathing. You want to handle the momentum, you need to know how to breathe. It's your health, it's your strength. Breathing is your power. So if you don't know how to breathe, how can you support your momentum? And if you don't know how to breathe, how can you develop anything with your Xiu Lim Tao? Just believe, believe Hendrik say this, or believe this guy say that, that uh, uh, grandmaster say this. So you put into this spot signs, now you can see into the details. Does it satisfy the oxygen, carbon dioxide, balancing. Does this satisfy the, uh, the momentum handling? And because we are so detailed today with the spot signs, we can pinpoint, we can predict, we can actually analyze, and we can actually know or improve 
the art. Without that, it's just like your Xiu Lim Tao. Oh, you do this Xiu Lim Tao. I do that Xiu Lim Tao. Now I ask the questions. How is your oxygen and carbon dioxide balancing? How is it? If you don't know, you don't know how to handle that. So if you don't know how to handle that, how can you teach your student to handle that? How can you achieve that level? So you put into the, the, the three level of ancient Chinese, the sick, which is no, the jing, which is uh, proficient, and the tong, which is mastery. We don't know. We say, oh yeah, just practice. Practice this Xiu Lim Tao. Uh, long enough, you will get there. Get what? So this few days, I ask people too, many people, many Wing Chuners and traditional Chinese martial art seafoods. So how is the uh, oxygen and uh, carbon dioxide balancing? Today in the sport, in different type of uh, like the Olympic judo and so forth, all this thing is not. If you don't have a system, a style which have this component, that means you're obsolete. So again, it back to the first thing, beginning of this video. Yes. Style matter. Okay, style matter. And of course, as I just share, knowing how to fight is uh, knowing the technology as how one behaves as a human, like in this case of Joko. That is the proper martial art behavior. Like in Shaolin, you don't cheat yourself, you don't cheat others, you don't get cheated by others but you being compassion and kind to others. You help others. Not to be gung-ho and uh, rude or those kind of stuff. So this is what I like to share with you. There's a lot of things in the past 140 years in Wing Chun that the, the, the way of education is need to be revised now. Or else, how are you going to face people technically with this momentum zone or fighting zone and with uh, as simple as your breathing? So uh, this is uh, to share with you. This is serious stuff.